Hi, my name is Tovio, and I'm going to introduce you to the concept of simple casting in Python. So casting. Casting is simply taking one data type and turning it into another data type. So you're transforming the data type. And a quick example of this, let's turn an integer into a float. So I'm going to say, uh, let's make some integer, 27 is an integer, let's turn it into a float. It's as simple as this. We've got this float function, and we pass into the float function the value 27, which is an integer. So if I run that, we're going to get 27.0, which is a float. We can verify this is a float using the type function. Sure enough, class float. We can do a similar thing. Let's uh, instead do a float to an integer. So 13.35367. So I'll get rid of this type function. So look at what happens when we transform when we cast a float to an integer. We get 13. We threw away the decimal. So you can consider this as an easy way to throw away everything to the right of the decimal point. Let's think of a couple others. Let's cast a float to a boolean. So we're going to cast 13.367 to a true or false value. And this may seem a little confusing at first, but we can take a look at why this makes sense. So the Boolean value of 13.367 is true. And let's look at a different value. Let's look at negative seven. That is also true. Let's look at zero. Zero is false. Let's look at 0.0. 0. 0.0 0. 0 is false. So the takeaway here is that if you cast a value to a Boolean, that value is going to be true if it has some quantity that's not zero, if it's a numeric type. Let's consider something you haven't seen quite yet, but let's consider a string. So let's cast an integer to a string. And for right now, think of a string as just being a word or a sentence or some collection of text. Okay? So if I print the string, and str is how we cast to a string, if I print the string of 87.3. So we get this output that says 87.3. There's no indication in our terminal that this is a string, but we can check the type using the type function. And sure enough, it's class str. str stands for string. So here's an interesting thing. Let's cast this string to a bool. It's true. That shouldn't be too surprising because there's a value in there. And that value may not be numeric, but there is a value that isn't zero. So we represent strings at, within quotes, uh, single quotes or double quotes. We'll get into this quite a bit later. So what happens, I'll put a different word in there, frog, right? So bool of frog is going to be true, right? There's some value in there. What about bool of an empty string? we get false. So there's something zero-like about an empty string. It has length zero. We can consider it that way. 